Welcome to the Tech Droid Live channel. Please visit us at www.techdroidlive.com. What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about the Echo Wizard. If you've been trying to use the Echo Wizard recently and it has been working, well the Echo Wizard has actually been closed down. It's been announced by Echo Coder on March 20th, 2017 on Twitter Longer that it will be closed and no longer working and that he will be moving on to the TV add-ons community and be contributing most of his work toward that. So you can actually read the official message on Twit Longer. We'll have the link posted below the video and then we'll have it posted on the web um, post as well. So definitely go check it out. So here I have the Twit Longer message from Echo Coder here open. Um, just to quickly read over um, Echo and you Don, hello all Echo users. Thank you for opening Echo Wizard. However, today I have some news from this point forth. I will be moving to a fantastic community with TV um, add-ons. I am doing this as I believe this is the best way for me to contribute to the community and give me the best platform possible to move forward with my add-on development. I will no longer need to worry about little things that come with what I do, maintaining a server, moving hosts. When they do go down, I will be able to concentrate purely on my add-on development, which means I can bring more content to the table. So with this being said, you are seeing this message as today, Echo Wizard closes. I know and understand that Echo Wizard has become a major part of a lot of people's a lot of people's Cody lives over the last year or so. Rest assured, I am not just walking away from what has been done here. I have assurances from TV add-ons that I can bring my ideas into development of Indigo. One big change that you will notice is that TV add-ons doesn't support builds. This is for several reasons, including security concerns, builds can contain malicious code and unsafe add-ons. And due to the fact that the large size of most builds actually result in slower performance. TV add-ons does have their own config wizard function in Indigo in, in case anyone is interested in pre-configuration. It is my aim to get Indigo to surpass Echo Wizard and make it a better addition to your system than Echo, Echo Wizard ever was. I hope you understand this decision. Give me your full backing and support in the journey ahead. Thank you, Echo Wizard. You still have access to the Echo repository. Um, you can find that tour, um, in TV add-ons. So we'll show you how to actually install that as well. Um, you want to stay tuned and watch that. Um, relatively simple. Uh, so just have your Kodi open. And then you want to click on your settings button. File manager. And then add source. Click none. Type in HTTP colon forge slash forge slash fusion tv add-ons dot ag click ok name this fusion click ok make sure the link's correct name of the media source link click ok um, and then you want to um, go back and then back to the home screen and then you want to hit um, add-ons Hit that add-on browser, a little package box here. And then you want to click on install from zip file. And then you want to click that fusion um, link you made earlier. Click on Kodi repos, English. And then scroll down to you see echo. Click on it. And then it's going to install the echo coder repository. And then um, since you install the repository, you want to install from it. So install from repository. And then look for Echo Coder repository. And then uh, you can see the add-on repository, um, Echo Coder's add-on repository, music, program, video add-ons. Program add-ons, TV guide, music add-ons, podcasts, 